Hello everyone and welcome back to the AMAC. I hope you all are having a wonderful Sunday. I'm going to read a quick devotional. I know I've done already a couple of those here lately. And since it's Sunday, I do want to start incorporating the devotionals in with the channel and on Wednesdays as well. So, if you like this channel, be sure and hit that like button and ring the bell so you'll be sent those notifications and you don't miss a thing. So, I'm going to start reading and it is from Hebrews and it is 13, 15. Um, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise. And then... This, what I'm about to read, is just a little story that was told a long time ago. An inner city missionary stumbling through the trash of a dark apartment doorway heard someone say, Who's there, honey? Lighting a match, he caught sight of earthly needs and suffering. Amid saintly trust and peace calm appealing eyes etched in ebony were set within the wrinkles of a weathered black face on a bitterly cold night in february she lay on a tattered bed with no fire no heat and no light having had no breakfast lunch or dinner she seemed to have nothing at all except arthritis and faith in God. No one could have been further from no one could have been further removed from comfortable circumstances, yet this favorite song of the dearly of the dear lady played in the background. Nobody knows the troubles I see. Nobody knows but Jesus. Nobody knows the trouble I see. Sing glory, hallelujah. Sometimes I'm up. Sometimes I'm down. Sometimes I'm level on the ground. Sometimes the glory shines around. Sing glory, hallelujah. And so it continued. Nobody knows the work I do. Nobody knows the griefs I have. The constant refrain being glory, hallelujah. Until the last verse rose. Nobody knows the joys I have. Nobody knows but Jesus. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. 2 Corinthians 4, 8 through 9. It takes these great Bible words to explain the joy of this elderly black woman. Do you remember the words of Martin Luther as he lay on his deathbed? Between groans he preached, these pains and troubles here are like the type that printers set. When we look at them, we see them backwards. And they seem to make no sense and have no meaning. But up there, when the Lord God prints out our life to come, we will find they make splendid reading. Yet we do not have to wait until then. The Apostle Paul, walking the deck of a ship on a raging sea, Encourage the frightened sailors. Be of good cheer. Acts 27, 22. King James Version. 
Paul Martin Luther, and the dear black woman were all human sunflowers seeking and seeing the light in a world of darkness. I think that was another wonderful reading, and I hope you all enjoyed it. And again, if you like this channel, be sure and hit that like button and ring the bell so you'll be sent those notifications and you don't miss a thing. So, and until we all meet again, may God bless you and God keep you.